This is WRAS Radio in Atlanta, Georgia, signing on the air. Welcome to Album 88. My name is Bryce McNeil. I am the Assistant Director for Student Media at Georgia State University, and uh, I've been advising student media here in one capacity or another since 2008. I was the Student General Manager of Album 88 from 2007 to 2008, and the year before that, I was program director, and I've been volunteering with Album 88 in some form or another since 2005. Uh, this is the student radio station of Georgia State University, and we are in Student Center West, 271. This is the main lobby area, if you would, of the station. We still have a lot of our vinyl from back in the day, but believe it or not, some new artists still send vinyl as well. And, uh, lots of CDs on the walls, uh, mostly alphabetized. There's a tiny amount of organization. You don't want to know about the wall of shame in the Almedia restaurant. There is one. Here is our newest studio. We have new software here, new board, new powered speakers, new microphones. And this is where all of the Album 88 programming emanates from essentially our flagship station right now on HD2 and at night on HD1 and HD2 and 88.5 FM. The frequency where V103 now lives is a frequency that was loaned out to Georgia State in the late 1960s. And what was interesting about FM radio back then was that a lot of people didn't really understand how profitable it was to become later on. And essentially, uh, Georgia State University kind of got ahead of the game and applied to license itself uh, at 88.5 when they were no longer being loaned a frequency. One of the things you'll notice when you look at the radio station's wall is it's sort of a bit of uh, echoes of a previous time. College radio, historically, is a non-commercial venture. Legally, it's a non-commercial venture. You'll often hear the expression, left of the dial. It's actually one of the slogans Album 88 has, left of the dial right on the music. Well, that's not just a slogan that's arbitrarily decided upon. There's an actual uh, series of laws that guide what uh, operates to the left of uh, 92.1. You're supposed to operate as a non-commercial station and you're supposed to serve a public function. But by and large, we have graveyard shifts where students are there and playing programming and everything like that, which is pretty cool. It's a good way to break in. My name is Shira Solomon. I'm a music composition major here at Georgia State, and I have been with the radio station for the past five months. Before you even do anything as far as like working the system, like literally before you touch anything, they take you through sit-ins, which is a requirement, and then uh, that's when they teach you how to use all the tech and everything. And then after that, you have to do like the, the graveyard shift, which is like the really annoying three to five a.m. or five to eight a.m. shift, which wasn't fun, but whatever, it was worth it. What's interesting about Album 88 is that it and many other college radio stations were playing music in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s that started to become as popular as commercial radio, even as commercial radio wasn't playing it. And a lot of times what you'd see is you'd get platinum records and gold records from artists I definitely have to say Rhythm and Vibes is probably our most popular show. Uh, to the best of my knowledge, it's the longest running hip hop show in college radio. That show had a really big hand in helping to break outcasts, which in turn kind of affected the whole trajectory of hip hop because Outkast ended up having an enormous effect on the hip hop artists that came after them. There weren't a lot of groups that sounded like Outkast when Outkast came out. So it wasn't necessarily the type of bold initiative that a commercial radio station, even if it was based in Georgia, was going to take to play them regularly, like we did. College radio has a pretty big role to play in terms of promoting local artists and, and just artists in the state in general, hence why it's the Georgia music show, not just the Atlanta music show. I am Cameron, Cameron Benson. I go by DJ King, Aaron, uh, Mr. Snowmageddon. I have a lot of aliases, and they all kind of started here at the station. So uh, this entire time, I've been the host of The Message. It's one of our two hip-hop shows, uh, one of the longest-running hip-hop shows in Atlanta. Um, it's been beyond an amazing experience. Radio is something that I always wanted to do. And honestly, I didn't even know Georgia State had a radio station until my first physical visit here. Like, I remember me and my dad walked through the hall, and we saw the window for the radio station, and I was like, oh, I got to go here. Like, that was, that was, that was a pretty considerable determining factor uh, as far as me coming here. So uh, that, along with a, a lot of other academic stuff, has really just been, like, an amazing experience. So, uh, yeah, long live 88. If you want to get involved with Album 88, go to studentmedia.gsu.edu and look out for the calendar updates indicating when application windows are open. 
You can always call the student media office at 404-413-1592. The on-air phone number for Alm88 is 404-413-9727. You can follow Alm88 on social media, Album 88 Atlanta, all one word, Album 88 Atlanta, and that's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And WRAS.org is the official website for Album 88 and WRAS Atlanta. We hope we'll see you soon.